Hey, Coach Duffy here. I'd like to go over a couple things today, um, primarily for the, the anterior pelvic tilt, which is a uh, muscle imbalance and, and postural deviation that you're going to see in a lot of people to where, and, and I have it too, but it's when, when the front part of your pelvis sits lower than the back part. Um, you can really see it a lot if you, if you wear a belt buckle and the belt buckle is sitting lower than the backside where the, uh, where the belt goes around back. It's an easy way to kind of check it out. Um, and there's a couple of different reasons for this. Uh, the biggest thing that you want to know is that just the, the different muscles that are tight um, and then the different muscles that are weak. Um, I'd like to show you a couple exercises today. Stretches, um, motor control type of exercises, strength exercises, uh, some stuff with the foam roller here, uh, myofascial release, um, and uh, just some movement type of prep stuff too that'll, that'll really get uh, get these weak muscles stronger and then get these tire muscles a little bit uh, looser as well to, to help with uh, such such a tilt in those hips to where um, you don't want to have start having back problems or, or leg problems, so the, these exercises will help with that. So uh, first thing I'd like to go, go in, to is a, is a single leg touchdown. It's going to be, uh, this is primarily for hamstring flexibility because those hamstrings will be one of those muscle groups that are going to be really tight. So something like something like this, you can you can do it walking as well, but I'm just going to kind of show you here. Down and touch, trying to keep this bottom leg nice and straight. Do about 10 each side. Really trying to get those hamstrings loosened up. Um, next one, do a couple different things here. It's going to be a knee squeeze, and then you're going to lunge out in front, rest on the ground, and stretch it on back, and then you'll just switch sides. Squeeze it, stride, stretch on back. Again, about 10 each side is good. Squeeze, stride, stretch. Okay, some motor control exercises. First one I'm going to do is with this, this band. You can do this with any type of resistance band. Right around your ankles or your feet is best. Side stepping. What this is doing is really waking up the glutes and hips. Those are some muscles that are really shut down with people that have that anterior pelvic tilt. So just going side to side like that. Another good motor control one. I like to call it a scorpion. You go straight down on the ground here with your arms out. Coming up. Stretch. Up. Stretch. Just like that. Um, Working a lot of the quads, hip flexors, back's getting stretched out there. Um, going to a couple of strength exercises. First one I'll show you is a Bulgarian squat. You can do this body weight or with some weights depending on where you are, fitness, fitness level. Back foot up on top, drop that back knee to the ground, press it out. Down, press it out. And then same thing with the other side. And a good number for a lot of these is going to be around 10, 10 to 15, depending on how much time you have and how much relief that you're feeling. Um, add weights as you get better. Second strength one I'd like to show you is a step up. Again, just strengthening those muscles that are that are weak for most people, hamstrings, glutes, uh, and those core muscles as well. A lot of stabilizing uh, muscles will, will work on those different exercises right there. Um, static stretching. This is a I like to call this like a, a sumo stance where you have a nice wide stance with your legs. Because what, what's really tight on uh, people with the anterior pelvic tilt is these adductor muscles here. 
So drop him down into a squat with your legs nice and wide and your feet flared. And just give it a good push on the, on the inside of your knees so that you're getting that good stretch on the inner legs. Okay. Just hold it, just hold it as long as you can, 20 to 30 seconds, something like that. Next one's gonna be a kneeling hip flexor stretch. These hip flexors get super, super tight, um, and it's a hard spot to stretch. Let me kind of show you from the side here. This is the main area we're focusing on on this leg. What you want to do is tighten your left side glute, drop in forward a little bit, tighten your stomach, and then try to rotate your hips the other way. So you're normally rotated anterior this, this way. You want to try to rotate your hip the other way, and you'll feel that real good stretch right here. You can do this in a static fashion where you're just holding it, or you can come back and forth, make it a little bit more dynamic, pumping that blood in and out of the area. Obviously doing both sides. And a hold. Last two things I want to show you is with this foam roller, self-myofascial release. What I'm going to show you is just get those, those spinal erectors that run along the length of your spine. Those get really, really tight. So if you get yourself a foam roller and roll the length of your spine, try to keep your rear end on the ground and try to get your head back towards the ground here. And then just rolling that foam roller the length of your spine. Feeling that good stretch. Same idea, just attacking those adductors now on the inside of the leg. And do it nice and slow. This is not a fast thing. It's, it's kind of painful. You'll feel where your muscles are most tight, but you want to start at the knee and then go up all the way up high into the groin. Just feeling those muscles loosen up as you roll it out. You should hit those, those exercises pretty much every day if you want to help with that uh, anterior pelvic tilt. Those are the best corrective exercises for it. Thanks.